All right, Shaq, thank you for sitting with me. I appreciate it. Yes, ma'am. Thanks for having me. All right, so I have a lot of stuff to ask you, but let's start with military school. You went to military school, right? Yes, ma'am. All right, tell us about that. Uh, military school was like, um, okay, so we had to get up every morning at like 5 a.m. Mm -hmm. And then we was like post grad, so we already kind of grad, we already graduated high school. Yeah. This was like uh, players that went there that had. D1, some players went there had D1 scholarships yeah. to get their grades or they didn't qualify or other players went there to go get a scholarship. Yeah, yeah. So we had to do that. We had to get up in March and do the military lifestyle when we still trying to get our wow. grades and stuff. And mm -hmm. so and some of us, we weren't really used to it because we had to get in full parade uniform. If we get in trouble, we got to walk around with a rifle on our shoulder around the square. If mm -hmm. you like move or anything, yeah. like you start up. I was over, like, I had to do 65 hours one time. For what? <laughs> okay. So, how, how hard grade was, it's like a little a villain. So, uh -huh. even the teachers, principal, everybody stayed there. So, oh, so one you can't day get away we, with nothing. Man, one day we got, snuck out and tried to hit the little pizza market down there and we got caught. <laughs> I feel like it was on a like, type movie or something. Okay. So, I have to ask you then, what type of kid were you, Shaq? Were you... Straight and narrow, were you the class clown? What were what could, what, what type of kid were you? I was a class clown. I, yeah. I crack jokes on anybody. Uh -huh. I, I ain't gonna lie to you. Like I used to, like only time I, I mean when I got in trouble in school, I was, it's because I cracked a joke on somebody. Like a couple, like fight, times I got in the fights, mm -hmm. it was like I was talking about a dude haircut or something like that. Mm -hmm. It was always like cracking jokes on somebody. And from what I hear, you still crack jokes. Oh yeah, I still stay the same. I mean, I still say this. Not some of the same jokes, <laughs> yeah. but I, you know, I, I saw some up. I know, I know, like lookalikes though. Like if I find like a lookalike, like it's over. It's over. Yeah. <laughs> I'm like that person in the mall. You see me? Like, you a mall watcher? You yeah, sit there and, and see who? Okay, okay, yeah. okay. I can hang with you. I can hang with you. And you love music though too, right? Oh, yeah. Favorite rapper? Uh, my favorite rapper right now, I still, I'm still going with my boy No Cap. That's always been my favorite rapper. He's from Alabama, so he's like a little rapper going up. Uh, so mm -hmm. kind of my favorite rapper. But I like all type of music though. Like, like what? I got the gospel. You know, I, I even, I even listen to country music. You know? Do you? Yeah. I, you got a tune? You got a tune? Nah, I just. Can you sing some country? Uh. I just, so, you got something? Oh, you put me on the spot. No, I can't say it. I don't want to say it right okay, now. Okay, okay, okay. So what worry. about what about uh, R and B? Okay, yeah, R and B. I like pretty much everything R and B, like the nineties, the newer. Not the, not too much of the newer R and B. You know, yeah. kind of changed. Like I mean, especially when you go riding in the car with your mom. Yeah. And stuff like that, they play that all the time. Yeah. So which era is the best, you think? 70s, 80s, 90s? Uh, 90s. 90s? 90s? Yeah. Yeah. Because I was born in 94, so <laughs> I got a little taste of it, yeah. That's funny, that's yeah. funny. Oh, I love that. Okay, so my favorite is Whitney Houston. Can you get down with Whitney? Oh yeah, I love Whitney Houston, yeah. Yeah? Oh, yeah. Which song? Which song? Whitney Houston. Uh -huh. Oh you man, you what put you got? me on the spot what you got? right now. Ooh. You can pick any song. Whitney has done a ton. Which one do you like? Oh, she got a lot though. She do. Mm -hmm. <laughs> somebody, somebody's helping him out. Somebody's helping him out in the room. Yeah. Oh, dang. I will always love you. Yeah. I will That's always it. Love you. Yeah. Somebody helped him out, y'all. Somebody Who's helped him out. Mm -hmm. <laughs> All right, so let's talk about food. You like chicken wings? Mm -hmm. uh, soft, softer chicken wings or fried hard? Fried hard, it's the crisp. Drumsticks or flats? I like flats. It depends on what the drumstick. You know, you got two different type of drumsticks. Okay, it's explain, drumsticks. explain. It's the drumsticks you get back, you know, at the little grocery store, the little drumsticks, where they get it, you don't. <laughs> the other wings with little, little steroids in them ain't the real the drumsticks. Right, right, right. I, I like the so, real little. So you like the small ones? Yeah. Okay, you okay. Some rice and some peas and some okra. Oh, yeah. oh some okra. Yeah. Yes, yes. Okay, so ranch or blue cheese on your wings? Ranch. Be careful. Oh, ranch. Be careful. Yeah, I know. I, I said be careful, right. and you still said ranch. I, I, I know. I think it's, I mean, I think just being from down south, like South Carolina and stuff, like they don't make their blue cheese. Like, I ain't gonna lie, I had some great blue cheese up there, up here, 
But down there, they don't make their blue cheese. That's a, they get the blue cheese. That, we call that, now, uh, we, call, we, we call blue cheese, we call that salad dressing down there. Ooh. Yeah. Okay. Some type of dressing. All right, all right, all right. So, I mean, we was cool till you said ranch, but I get it though. I get it though. It's okay to be, you know, different and all that. All right, all right. So, you're big into fashion. If you had to set a fashion trend right now, what would you, what would you set? Like, yo, this, this is it today. Like, this is in style. You know, I mean, if I gotta set a trend, yeah, I'm coming back with the, uh, what's the, what's the little shoes with the two scraps, man, with the, uh, the old folks, man. They coming back in style back in the day. So no laces? No laces, yeah. Put them with the two straps. Cause now I've seen people going back wearing aces. And that's like back in the only time I used to see people with aces like coaches and stuff like mm -hmm, that, like mm -hmm. co track coaches. Yeah. Now, they, now every player out here wearing aces, they they look like the new Balenciaga now, and they for one hundred fifty dollars. Yeah. Then you see that's why you can you can get something like that, and something one fifty not too high, and put put a little fit on it and still be dripped out. You know that's what the fashion. You don't gotta really have. All the special stuff. I'm down for the big red shoes. You know the big red shoes oh, everybody nah, wears? Boots. Nah, yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I mean, that would. I ain't no? gonna lie. I ain't, I ain't, I ain't wearing them. <laughs> Somebody actually sent me a pair of those. I ain't even wear those. No? Yeah, yeah. I yeah, think they look dope. No? On me? Size 14? Oh, no. They gonna look like Ronald McDonald out there. <laughs> 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 oh, my gosh. Okay, so favorite season here in Buffalo? Uh, I mean, probably right now. It's the only time you're going to get the sun. <laughs> yeah. Probably, you know, yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, winter, I mean, the winter shirt, though, because you can actually feel Christmas. Like, you might get a snowy Christmas. Mm -hmm. like, that's the first time I ever, I mean, up here had a snow, snowy Christmas. Yeah. I ain't never had one of those. So, wow. I mean, yeah. I'm kind of straight. That's nice. Okay, so last question. Do you remember the feeling you had when you first learned you were going into the NFL? Oh, uh, the feeling I had was, it was amazing. Like, mm -hmm. it, was, it was, I mean, hard work paid off. Uh, did, like you said, the military school, I had to do all that. So yeah. I finally, like, I knew I had made it. But I think when I realized I came, uh, met seeing Deion Sanders when he uh, was doing the drive. Yeah. First thing they gave me was a, a shovel and some salt. I'm like, what's that for? <laughs> said, you about to go to Buffalo, New York. I welcome. said, huh? It was like, a little, that was my little welcome to the NFL mm -hmm. at first. But it was a great moment, you know? Yeah. I mean, but we glad you're here. I appreciate yes, you. Yes, man. Thank you. I appreciate you. Thank you. Mm -hmm.